Hey Thomas from Field Tennis. Today we're going to take a look at ground strokes, so forehands and backhands hit a different contact point heights. So low contact, medium and high ball, so both sides, also backhand. So for each contact point I will give you pros and cons, what are some advantages of hitting low, what are some disadvantages and so on. I will point out the most common mistake that happens at especially recreation level and I will give you the main tactical guideline for each height. Now of course I will try to make it concise so uh, there are of course many more options for different heights, different situations, different shots. So feel free to ask me in the comments below if, if there's something else you want to know and I will do my best to answer. Uh, I also want to thank my assistant Kaya today for helping me out on this nice sunny day and making me run left right <laughs> and burn some uh, energy. So without further ado let's get started. Alright so let's start with the low contact point on ground strokes so I'll be talking mostly when hitting forehands but I will also show you backhands. So what are the pros of a low contact point on a ground stroke? So we're gonna use a lot of mosts. So this will be the most effortless stroke because you can release the racket down the most. You can swing down, you get gravity assist. Pendulum feel like feeling. So you're getting a lot of free energy on a low contact point. So it's the most effortless stroke when we're talking about different heights. So low contact point is the most effortless. In most cases when you're behind the baseline you will have the most time because the ball has bounced short, it went up and now it's on the way down. So you will have the most time. So that also makes it quite effortless, the, like the least, least stressed, least time pressure. And this situation or this low contact point because of this uh, advantages should be also used when you're working on your technique. So when you're working on the basics of your technique, you should be trying to hit a lot of balls at low contact points so that you're most comfortable. So one more point about technique, uh, it's best to play low contact balls or low balls in a neutral stance. So for forehands and backhands, also two-handed backhand. So neutral stance is the most comfortable for this situation if you're in open stance. You can pu pull it off sometimes, but it's not the best way to hit the ball like that. So let me try and demonstrate. I will ask Kaya to give me some low balls and I will alternate a bit between neutral and open. And you will see how it looks like. Okay. All right, so as you can see, if the ball is a bit short and it's not coming to you, then when you're in open stance, if you misjudge a little bit, you don't have a correction available. So you're stuck here and you have to lean, lose balance. If you're in neutral stance, if the ball comes right where you want, you're fine. If you've misjudged a bit and it's a bit shorter, you can pull yourself forward and you're still in good balance. You have good weight transfer. So everything works out fine. What are the cons of low contact point? Generally no big cons. It's a, it's a very comfortable shot when you're behind the baseline. It works just fine. So the only con is that when you have a low ball, you might not be able to hit with your maximum power that you can hit, that you're consistent, because you have to hit the ball up. So if you go too fast, it's going to fly long. So for maximum power, you need a bit higher ball, which we're going to talk about when we're hitting medium height balls. So that would be, in my opinion, the only real con of hitting the ball. So we're not so much yet in tactics, just in terms of how it is to hit the ball at that contact point. So again, it's very comfortable to hit the ball at low contact point. Uh, no general disadvantage. 
just maybe you cannot hit with maximum power but you can hit still with good power and good top spin the ball is low you get very good racket head acceleration so the shot is good and deep and no big problems with it what's the biggest mistake when players do that players do when hitting a low ball the biggest mistake is that they don't go down to the ball with their legs and maintain their posture but they break the posture so if this is the right posture so the right angle of their body when they're hitting the ball when they're hitting a low ball they bend more and that changes the swing path because later usually come up too quickly so they bend too much then they come up and they're affecting the swing path of the racket with these jerky movements of the body so this one and they don't look at the ball well most players hit too many balls at medium height or even high so they get used to looking this way so when they get a low ball they're still looking that way and they're not looking down at the ball so I would say these are most common mistakes when players hit a low ball they bend and they don't look at the ball I'll try and demonstrate if I can hit the ball like that so something like this they don't look down uh, they break their posture instead of more lowering in the hip and looking at the ball this one's a bit higher see if I can get a bit lower one yeah like this so the ball is here I'm looking there I'm going down I maintain the right posture all right so we have a low contact point what is the main tactical objective like I mentioned this is a very comfortable uh, ball to hit but I'm behind the baseline and I don't have uh, the ability to hit with maximum power since I'm hitting up so I but I can still hit with very good power so this is a typical rally ball so you're going into bigger targets with good power and trying to build up the point so let me try and demonstrate a few so I have a low contact point it's a rally shot yeah this one will happen I have to save it I can go okay this one I missed a little bit I was going for a bigger target so I'm going for a bigger shot okay so I have low contact point I'm going for a deep ball I would try to move my opponent around rally shot and then see what happens so this one's maybe a foot long this one is a good shot so something like that maybe a couple of backhands slice would work backhand I have low contact point I'm going for a deep shot watch out Kaya this is a typical backhand cross court direction so yeah this is what happens that's why you have to go big targets I had a slight miss hit and I got a gust of wind and the ball just landed inside so I was not going for that target but this is why you have to aim safer because you miss hit the ball a little bit you can have a bad bounce on clay or other courts gust of wind and my ball was still in so it was a good demonstration that you know why are we going when we play longer distances we go for bigger targets is to keep the ball safe so the main tactical objective rally shot big targets move your opponent around there's one variation where you have a low contact point and that's when you're getting the ball a bit inside the court so if I'm behind the baseline and I'm hitting at low contact then mostly I'm going big target I'm going safe for a good shot but if I have some angle so not in the middle if I have some angle and I have low contact point I will go more for precision not power and I will try to open up the court so let me try and demonstrate a few so I'll get the forehand this one's a bit long we try a bit shorter yeah like this so I have low contact point I'm inside the court that's when I try to open up the court with a short cross court try again yeah so like this this is a perfect ball you can see it's about a foot or so from the sideline I open up the court and I build the point from there we try backhand just watch out because you're yeah okay perfect so I have a low contact point I'm inside the court that's when I would pull 
Yeah, that's when I would pull the ball cross court or maybe in some cases if I have a lot of time like this one then I would go for a precise shot so I'm not going for maximum power I'm going for precision because keep in mind that power and precision are on the opposite side of spectrum so the more power I hit with the less precise the shot will be and so if the shot is not precise enough then you're just blasting balls at your opponent and they're, if they're skilled enough they will just use your power and give you a nice neutralizing ball back and you've done nothing so you have to find the balance between precision and power and so when I step inside the court and I have this angle shot at low contact point I'm focusing more on trying to make my opponent run I'm not trying to hit a winner but I'm trying to stretch them put them under a lot of trouble so that they're hitting on the run and then likely I will get a shorter ball from where I can maybe approach the net or play a drop shot or something like that. So keep that in mind for this lower contact point balls where you're a bit inside the court.